in this lecture we will be studying about few operations on signal. By now we have studied few important types of signals. Now in this lecture we will study few operations done on these signals. So mainly we will be focusing on <coughs> the time shifting operation on signals and time reversal operation on signals. <coughs> starting with time shifting operation on a digital signal. So, here we have taken a signal, digital signal you can understand a discrete time, discrete value signal. This signal is existing only at 3 instants 0, 1 and 2. The values at 0 in instant is 1, at 1 instant the value is 2 and at second instant the value is 3. Now, Suppose we want to shift this signal, so we can write this signal x n, suppose this discrete time signal is x n, we can write like this 1, 2, 3 and this is the origin, this is one writing the uh, expression in a sequence form. So, now if we want to shift this in time, suppose this x n is delayed by 2 time instants. How do I write that? That in expression we will write as x of n minus 2. In expression, the signal which is delayed by 2 instants will be written as x of n minus 2. Now, how can you understand that it is a delay of 2 units? See, we can think it like that, that x of n is a sequence which is starting at 0 point, this is the origin, it is starting at the origin. Now, x of that means n was 0, starting point was n is equal to 0. Now, you can view it like x of n minus 2 is a sequence which is starting like this as if n minus 2 is 0. So, n is at 2, that means the sequence is starting at second instant, n minus 2 means it is delayed by 1, 2 instants. So, the sequence will start at the new sequence, this delayed sequence, if this is your x of n, the sequence, new sequence which is delayed by 2 instants will start at, instead of 0, it will start at 2, then at it will have its value at 3, it will have its value at now, the value that was there at 0 now will be at 2 because it is delayed by 2. So, here it will be 1, here at 3 it will be 2, here at 4 it will be 3. So, these 3 values are shifted by 2 time instants, each of these values. See the value at 0 now has shifted to value at 2, the value at 1 it was 2, that has shifted to value at 3, the value at 4 sorry 2 now has shifted to value at 4. So, this is how this time shifting operation occurs. Now, this is a delay because earlier it was starting at 0, now the sequence is starting at second instant. So, you can understand the signal is starting at a delayed instant. So, that is why this operation is called time shifting but time delaying because it has started at a later instant of time. Now, the other case you can also think of that if it is you can as it is you know delayed, you can also think of advancing a signal. So, how do you represent that advancement of a signal? So, that advancement is basically suppose now I write that I want to advance the signal by maybe 3 time instants. So, x n is advanced by say 3 
time instants. So, how do you represent that mathematically or in the sequence representation how do you write that? So, that will be written as x of n plus phi. That means, when you are delaying the signal it is represented as x of n minus may be 2 or n minus k and when a signal is advanced then it is represented as x of n plus k. Here we are trying to advance it by 3 time instant. So, it is written as x of n plus 3. Similarly, you know, if you think of this analogy that is x n when n was at 0 now x of n plus 3 that means you can imagine it like as if n plus 3 is 0. So, n is at minus 3. That means, if you plot try to plot this n plus 3 x of n plus 3 here, how this will look like? This has been advanced by 3 time instants means earlier it was at 0, now it will start at 3 time instants beforehand. That means, now it will start at minus 3 and then it will move to minus 2, minus 1. That means, the value that was there at 0 now will move to 3 time instant before minus 1, 1 time instant, minus 2, the next time instant, minus n is equal to minus 3. So, here this value will be shifted. So, this value is now 1. The value that was there at 1 will again be shifted by 3 time instants. That means, it will come at first at 0, then minus 1, then minus 2. So, at minus 2, this value will be the value that was there at 1. So, here this is now 2. And the value that was there at 2 or second time instant that will also be shifted to the left by 3 time instants that is it comes at 1, 0 and at minus 1. So, this value now will be reflected or shown at minus 1 instant. So, this is how it is time advanced moving towards left hand side that means earlier the signal was starting at 0 instant. Now, the signal is starting at minus 3 instant that means, the signal is advanced in time. So, these are two operations that you know sums up the time shifting operation. One is time delay operation that is given by x of n minus k. The other is time advancement operation that is given by x of n plus k.